M1 Global presents. Challenge bout in the middleweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 31 years old. He weighed in at 84 kilograms. He stands 185 centimeters tall and has a record of 17 wins and nine losses. He is Ombres de Honor champion and M1 Challenge World Team Champion participant from Spain. Please welcome Enoch. Torres! And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 24 years old. He weighed in at 84 kilograms. He stands 185 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 10 wins. One loss with one draw. He is master of sport in boxing and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Winner of the multiple international boxing tournaments and winner of the championship of armed forces in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Representing Fight Club number one and industrials team from Russia, Valery Russian Hammer Mishikov. Fighters, center. Okay, you know rules, three round, five minutes. Listen my commands every time. Stay active all the time, okay? Check hand. Back your place. Your referee, Vazislav Kishilov. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the M1 Challenge 68 main card. What a quick start there. Didn't even get to announce who was in which corner, but in the blue corner. Right from Torres. Torres in the blue corner here, and Misnikov in the red corner, already on the defensive. Well, we've seen Torres, he can be a slow starter, he can be a quick finisher. Looks like he's going for the quick finish. But nice, nice reversal from Mystikov. Mystikov's work had been working a lot on his ground game. I mean, he's originally a boxer. All he really knew coming into MMA was the stand-up game. Though he compiled a 9-0 record, he ran into his first problem when he faced former light heavyweight champion Stefan Putz. Ever since then, he's been working on his ground game, insisting that this is the way he has to develop, which is the truth. A well-rounded game is the only game that's really going to work here. Torres is on him like a leech. Torres doing well to get back up, although Mystikov let him back up, or kind of let him back up because he wanted a strike. He was on him like a leech, and look at the result. He's now in side control, trying to step over to mount. We know Torres is good from his back as well. He pulled off a beautiful submission in M1 recently. Indeed. 
It was a fantastic come from behind performance actually as well. Trying to get the mount now taking the back. Hammer fists. He's got his leg caught. Oh, great work. Look at that. He's going for the Kimura. He left go of it there. He tried it. He figure four. Kimura lock. He's a little bit high. He may, he may come over the top of the head. Mistyukov may come out the back door. But he's got that arm trapped. He could pull that into an arm bar. Obviously, the head is free. He's working for it, but though. Torres knows his submissions. He knows what he's doing. Oh, he certainly does. There's the hand. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Oh, he needs to get the leg over the head. Oh, the old Oh, he got him. He's got him. This, this is, is tight. Incredible. This is how he won his last finish. In M1, he got the arm bar. Oh, Mistikov gets up. Oh, the crowd reaction once Mistikov gets Mistikov up. Mistikov pulls out. Very impressive. Well, let's hope that hasn't disheartened Torres because he's doing awesome thus far. Like we said in the in the, the pre-talk fight, both of these guys have worked on their nutrition now. They seem to have the weight sussed. They know what they're doing with the weight cut. And to be honest, I'm happy with the results so far. They are looking awesome. Well, exactly, you're seeing the confidence. You're seeing Mistikov not oh, getting tired quickly. Right hand by Torres. And Torres and just left hook. Oh, oh, he him. He, oh, they're swinging for they're the just fence. going for it here. Unbelievable. Well, we've been talking again. We've been talking up Torres' submission game. He is a power puncher as well. Oh, <laughs> Torres with a left hook. Oh, Mystical's taking it in the pit. Like, he's really taking some damage here. You want to hope Torres doesn't burn himself out because he's thrown everything into it. He's bending over, throwing that big overhand right and left, and the accuracy as well. You can tell he's worked on that part of his game. Mistikov to Mistikov what? coming back. What a chin on him though. Oh, he shoots. He needs to turn the corner. He needs to get around the back. He needs to get around the back of Mistikov. Mistikov's got a head and arm. It's going to be hard to do now. He gets around the back. He gets it. He gets it. Oh, this is oh, impressive stuff. This is very impressive stuff from Torres here. The only way he could have escaped from that bad position was get around the back and he did it. Should be noted, ladies and gentlemen, that there is a potential middleweight title show opportunity on the line here. That might explain why Torres is really fired up for this one. That was the confidence of the early the onslaught that he performed, and as well the nutrition. It's just everything's really coming together. The stars are I aligning just, right I now. I just hope, Karim, that he hasn't burnt himself out. He hasn't punched himself out. He may be taking a little bit of a breather now, but who can blame him? What a performance so far by Torres. Indeed, a little over 30 seconds to go in the opening round here. First of three potential five-minute rounds. Well, he's taking a well-deserved rest. Indeed, surprised the referee hasn't called for any action yet. Torres still landing a few good punches there. Yeah, body, body, head, he's working well. The thing is with uh, Mistikov, he has got the ability to come back stronger in the second round, even after a push like this. We don't know if Torres can do it yet. We don't know if this nutritionist has sorted this out. Because obviously your nutrition has a lot to do with your diet. Uh, sorry, a lot to do. <laughs> yes, it has a lot to do with your diet. <laughs> uh, a lot to do with your cardiovascular work as well. They are pouring the water and slapping the face of Mr. Cobb. That was quite a start to this fight. That's the armbar attempt and it was really tight. Mr. Cobb doing awesome to get out of it. Really, really well to get out of it. It was very slick too, the way he transitioned into it. It was just really well done. Torres is such a dangerous opponent. The punches are coming from about five, six feet away, but they're connecting. Big left hook. And like you said, how the hell is Mistikov still standing after that? Not just standing, he barely blinked when he took those shots. <laughs> Impressive. Well, till now we've never seen him knocked out. It'll be quite an achievement if Torres can accomplish something along those lines. Ready? Fight! 
Right, well, both guys meeting in the centre of the ring. They both want this. Sometimes these fighters' styles really end up suiting each other's games, and this is exactly what we're seeing There's here. There's a big overhand again, throwing it from the back of his pocket. It usually takes Mishnikov a little while to loosen up with his hands as well. Mishnikov has a little mouse over his left eye. Traditionally a boxer, very capable with his hands. Only recently began to implement kickboxing elements to his game. I remember calling this fight back at M1 Champ 54, very, very minimal legwork then at the time. Nice work to the body. Significant improvement so far. He does train at industrial team in Moscow alongside the likes of Nikita Krylov. Just and missing with that right hand. Torres is slowed a little. That's what I was frightened of. His mouth is all open here, but he tends to fight that way. I wouldn't say it's a sign of heavy breathing yet. So he is backing oh, up with nice knee. He is just backing up a little more. For the counter. You can see Torres' coach, Chinko, really pushing him, telling him to keep coming forward, doing what you're doing in the first round. We're yet to see that from Torres here. Oh, Torres got tied with the right hand. Mistikov getting the better of these exchanges right now. Well, it does take him a while to loosen up, and we're starting to see that now. Well, the pace has slowed just a little, but a big right hand retaliated with a left hook. Oh, we can see it picking up again anytime, though. The good thing is both fighters are not flat-footed. That's a good thing. They're both moving. Indeed. Oh, nice. He shot. I like ducked under the punch there. Good timing, but it wasn't good enough. Time, but he didn't drive. Didn't turn the corner. Mr. Cobb gets a round of applause from the crowd. You know, I wonder if Mishnikov is dealing with a lingering knee injury there, because we've seen him now in multiple fights wearing the exact same uh, knee brace of sorts. He has a tape on the back as well. It's not just... Oh, nice right. I was going to say, he's not just wearing a knee brace. He's got a, he's got a tape at the back with rock tape. So it's obviously a niggling injury. Swing and punch just there. misses, yeah. If I was Torres, I'd be kicking that knee. Right, he's still moving from both guys. <coughs> Obviously, not as powerful and strong in the first. I'm sure both guys thought they were going to win in the first, the way they went. The corner of Torres is screaming at him to come forward. Gets the clinch, there's a knee. Gets thrown away easily by Mr. Koff. Oh, oh nice trip, beautiful work. Excellent work. He used the momentum there, but I wish he had followed up on it and kept him down. Maybe he doesn't want to be there. I, I honestly think that he, his boxing is becoming more superior and he's happy with that. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Torres turned his back slightly. Not a wise thing to do. I don't know if he tripped or just overpowered that right hand and fell forward. Big leg kicks. A little over 10 seconds to go in the second round. Oh. 
definitely a round each. Torres I taking a, the first, Mishikov taking the second. I have a feeling, Ian, we're going to see them push the pace a lot more in the third and final round. Well, it's make or break for both guys, really. Exactly. Now, you just you just want to hope that the coaches have both told them the same thing. You know, because if one coach, either side, says that he thinks they've got both rounds, they could stall a little bit. They could just take a break. Indeed. They think they won the fight. As long as they don't get submitted or knocked out, they can take it easy. So let's hope the coaches of both sides have said, you're down. You're down. You need to win this round. If they do that, we're going to see a barnstormer here in the third round. Please. Mistikov still sitting on his seat. Stool. Godo. Shake hands, a sign of respect heading into the third round. Here we go. Third and final. Both guys need this round. Torres going for the clinch again, goes for the shot. He's going in powerful, getting tagged on the way in. Mistikov's hands are fast. Yeah, Mistikov's getting the better of the boxing now. Well, this is anyone's fight at the moment. I'd like to see one of them at least take the initiative and push here. That leg kick's working every time for Mistikov. No check whatsoever for Torres. Torres is trying his best to close that gap. He's trying to get the clinch. He's trying to get the double. He's trying to get a single. Oh, nicely done. Mr. Cobb is in his groove now. In his groove, but he's still not aggressive enough for my liking. There's still enough time for someone to steal this round. That left, that left hand shook him a little bit. Oh, he's just barely missing there too. It's an unorthodox kind of striking thrown like that, but the good thing about Torres is when he does it, he doesn't keep his head still, he swings, he moves. A lot harder to hit when somebody swings like that and the head's rocking. Chinto, the corner man of Torres, is going crazy. I don't know if you can hear the clapping right next to me, but that is the corner man. He is egging on his fighter. Come forward, come forward. Andre, Andre. He's going all shades of red right now. <laughs> Shot from a little too well. Needs to get a bit closer. Yeah, it's a little desperate there. Mr. Cobb is missing the mark. Mr. Cobb's moving back a little bit too much for my leg, and he needs to come forward a bit more if he wants to win this round. He's got the better hand. Level. I mean, the judges have got a hard one for this round, certainly. At this rate, you can expect a 10-10 at least for one of the judges. Well, he had his chance to catch the leg, Torres. He missed it. And I'm sure if he puts Vistikov on his back, he could steal this round. He's got one minute 23 to do it. Oh, a nice body shot. Oh, big overhand right again by Torres. Oh, 
I think Mishikov's a little bit worried about coming forward in case he gets taken down. Certainly looks like it here. 50 seconds left to go. We're under one minute in this third and final and a very exciting round. Still a difficult fight, been competitive, very even. I mean, the slightest margins are going to separate these two fighters now at this point. We're talking even a takedown in these last 30 seconds will change the complexion of the, of the fight and how it's scored. 30 seconds. Oh, there's a takedown by Mr. Koff. Torres scrolls. He's got a head and arm. Will he try and finish it off? Will he try and go for the anaconda? He goes round to the back. Oh, he gets thrown over the top. He's going for the arm bar. Wow. He's going for the arm bar. Beautiful work by Torres. Ten seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen. He's clamping the head down. He could smother him from here. Oh, saved by the bell. Nice finish by Torres. I think that could be just enough. Just enough to pip that round. Whether he's won the fight, we have to wait out and hear from the MC. I'm very interested to see the scorecards in this one, Ian. Action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw. In this fight, it is not a draw, and we, of course, applaud the sportsmen. Thank you, Valery Misikov, Russia, and the only star of Russia, Spain. Ну что можно сказать, Валер, ну скажи хотя бы ты несколько слов. Нам показалось, что сегодня русский молот бил не так уверенно. Почему не хватило очков для победы? Где это был коронный удар, который был в прошлом турнире? Не знаю, где он. Остался, наверное, в прошлом турнире. Видно, мало работал, немного подзабыл про ударку. Начал больше времени уделять борьбе, то есть своей слабой стороне. И, видать, забыл про сильную сторону. 
Надо побольше поработать. Валера, работай, ждем от тебя побед. Русский молод, Валерий Мясников, Москва. Энок, Солвес, Торрес, Испания.